This got me wondering though, could the sound be cleaner than the Mega Amp in my original Model 2? I might do a separate video comparing them anyway, just because I think it's really interesting. When talking about Mega Drive or Genesis audio, we all have our preferences. Most of us will recognise an early Model 1 such as this PAL VA4 variant to have far superior sound to that of any kind of Model 2, like this one. Seven years ago, I did a comparison video which easily confirmed this. But then, three years later, I became aware of something called the Mega Amp. This circuit was designed to massively improve the sound of pretty much any version of the console, including some clone systems. So I did another comparison video, this time between the stock Model 1 and the Mega Amp. The Mega Amp reigns supreme. Enter the analog Mega SG, an FPGA system copying the exact hardware of Sega's 16-bit system, and what a job it does of it. This thing replicates the sound so well, I don't actually know what the outcome will be after comparing it with the Mega Amp, which for me, personally, is still currently my preferred option. Will my mind be changed? First though, let's compare the Mega SG with its default audio settings on firmware 4.6 to my VA4 Model 1. For best results though, please use a good pair of headphones, because I can't guarantee much differences will be heard through a rubbish tinny phone speaker. Stand by for action. So to me, the Mega SG does sound much better than the Model 1. Played alongside the Mega SG, you realise that the Model 1 is quite hissy and there's not as much clarity at the higher end. But maybe some of you prefer that, let me know if you do. Remember also that you can apply filtering in the Mega SG's menu if you do prefer that, and adjust many other things. Check out my review of the Mega SG to find out more. Okay, now it's time for the good bit, the Mega SG against the Mega Amp. This should be really interesting, because I prefer the Mega Amp over the Model 1 for the same reasons I prefer the Mega SG over the Model 1. Once again, I'll be using the Mega SG's default settings, while the Mega Amp will have the filters turned off, which is my personal preference. As always, and once again, using a good pair of headphones will deliver much clearer results, especially in this case, because I think the differences are going to be much, much more subtle. On with it!
It's definitely a much closer one. So close, in fact, that if you played them separately to me, I couldn't tell you which one was which. With the first track, I can definitely hear a tiny bit more bass on the mega amp, and it's the same story with the second track. It's just got that tiny, tiny edge. There's something about the distorted guitar sound that seems a little bit more crisp and punchy, at least to my ears. In the end, I'd be happy with either. They both sound fantastic and so darn similar that I don't even know if many people would notice or care. It just goes to show how amazing of a job the people behind the Mega SG did, but for me, the win goes to the Mega Amp. Unfortunately, no matter how good the Mega Amp or Mega SG sound, it can't make bad music sound good. But you know what can make it worse? An unchanged stock Model 2. Just for fun, let's throw it into the deep end and put it up against the Mega SG. The differences I needn't even explain. Any worse than the stock Model 2 and then you have an At Games branded piece of wasted money and resources. And no, I'm not going to be torturing you with how that sounds. Not today, not ever. So that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments as I'd really like to hear your opinions. And as always, I'll be back in 16 bits. Chris, have you done the dishwasher yet?